Hello, it's Wes. Super Wes, that is. When we're talking about people that might be short of breath or in distress, it's always best to look for signs or symptoms of resp respiratory distress. And it's usually best to look at their general disposition rather than um, solely relying on their sat oxygen saturations or their color. And a reason to do that is because not everybody turns blue or cyanotic. Usually when somebody turns blue, it's usually in their fingernail beds, their lips, any mucous membranes, their conjunctiva. Um, Dark-skinned people, still in, their, in those places, they usually turn blue also. But in the main part of their skin, they usually do not turn blue. But there's a lot of different colors in this world. Usually in the main part of their skin, they usually lose a little bit of color. They usually turn gray, ashen, or waxy, waxy color. But the main thing is, you know what your patient looks like. If they do not look normal or right, then it's wrong. And if they don't look right and their sats are 82, okay, you got a lot of work to do. Okay. If they're gray and they're looking bad, they're feeling bad, fix it. Look into the problem. Don't just poo poo it off. Also, people don't always turn blue. What physically makes you turn blue? is when five grams of hemoglobin desaturate. So that depends on how much hemoglobin they have. Uh, let me tell you a story uh, of something that happened to me several years ago, actually many years ago. I was working a night shift and a patient got admitted. It was a 36, uh, mid 30s year old female and she had oxygen on so I had to go check her sats. And uh, so I knocked on her door, and when I went in, she was just as blue as my shirt. And so I tried to hide my freaked out face. Hey, how you doing? Oh, fine. Okay, so I knew right there she was okay. Or at least she was not in distress. Because of her gentle disposition. Hey, okay. Now, if she would have been tripoding, Showing signs and symptoms of distress, I would have stopped right there, called a rapid response, got an non-rebreather, maybe an ambu bag, called for help, and fixed the problem, addressed the problem. But she wasn't. She said, hey, how are you breathing? Oh, pretty good. Are you feeling blue? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so what do you keep your sats at? Oh, about 82. Sure enough, her sats are 82. But she had, as it come to find out, she had pulmonary hypertension, which her body responded might be in tons of red blood cells. I forget exactly what her count was, but it was somewhere up around 14 or so, maybe 15, I forget. So if this held 15 grams of hemoglobin, she always had five grams of hemoglobin that were desaturated. So she was walking around blue all the time. She looked horrible. I asked her if she, there's, people were always asking her if she was feeling okay. And she said, yeah, people were always running to her thinking she was fixing to die. But she had tons of oxygen left. Because the other 10, 9, 10 grams of hemoglobin were full of oxygen. So she was doing great. But she looked horrible. That's what we affectionately call blue bloaters. Uh, but on the other end of that spectrum are little emaciated Old patient, uh, older patients with COPD. They just have skin and bones, hardly any fat to speak of, and they can hardly take a, take a bite to eat without stopping for a minute or two to catch up. They probably have 7.2 grams of hemoglobin. They will never turn blue on you because five grams of hemoglobin will never desaturate on them. They'll be long dead before that happens. If it's a pediatric patient, I'll ask the caregiver or mom, how can you tell when your child's short of breath? 
Oh, they get really pale around their lips and their nose. Do they turn blue? Yeah, but only if they're fixing to pass out on me. Okay, because, you know, they turn pale. Now, you know, if their trach plugs up or if the vent came, the, the vent tubing came undone, you know, they're pale now. They're, they're at the point where it's almost, you know, they're ready to coat on you. Now they're starting to turn a little bit blue. So, so remember that. Don't just go on one thing alone. Uh, it, usually they're going to tell you. Look at their face. Look at their eyes. They're going to tell you.